Hey, it's old Jake again here. We're having a special meeting of Midnight Science Club today. We're actually across the ocean in London, England at the Royal Institution of Great Britain. There's some really sweet people here. And one of them is standing next to me. This is my buddy, Dan. He's a wit second class. And I said, you know, I would raise him to level first class wit if he could impress me with a demonstration. So you, what, you dug through the files here at the RI? I've, I've got something I think, I hope, I hope yes. that you'll like this. Oh, look, it looks cool. Well, you've, I mean, some of this stuff you've seen, you've yeah. seen, you've seen one of these yeah, before, I see right? one of them, you put your hand, it sparks me That's it, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the old yeah. plasma ball. The plasma ball. So there's kind of, I think there's two important parts of the plasma yes. ball. We've got a glass sphere. Glass Do you know sphere. what's in that glass sphere? Is there a vacuum? Or? So they're almost, there's oh. a very, very low pressure. Very low pressure. And a little bit of gas, say. So my suspicion would be something like xenons and noble uh, gases. Do and you those say gases. xenon? Yeah, xenon. Do you say xenon? Xenon. We can say I xenon. I say xenon, he says xenon. That's amazing. <laughs> as the electricity flows through there, mm -hmm. as the current flows, sure. that, that gas lights up. So that's why we can see where the electricity is sure. going. The other thing I think is important is that little tower that's in the middle. Yes. So that's the one that's putting the charge in there. That's yes. giving us the electricity that's flowing from the middle to the outside and to right. things that are very good at conducting like okay. sweaty men. Okay. Sweaty men. So I have another glass ball oh, and okay. just like that first glass ball, yes. there's a very low pressure. There's definitely some xenon or xenon gas yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. But what isn't in there? The little post is not. Yeah, there. there's, there's no tower. There's no way to put any charge in there. Okay. Oh, there's no charge in there. Okay. I've got this this electronic device down here, so it seems okay. maybe okay. maybe you maybe the people at home are thinking, well, that, that's obviously going to put the charge in there, right? So that looks a little scary. There's a lot of stuff going on, right? I don't yeah. even know what all that is. I'm not going to lie to you. What I'm going to do is I've got a little power pack here, yeah. and I'm just going to twiddle a little knob to adjust it mm. uh, to get the power to the right point. See, hear the fans start going. Well, this doesn't this doesn't sound good at all. So I'm it's starting anyway. to make it's starting to make noises here. It's just adjust it's ever so slow. Am, am I starting to tingle? Until I get to, oh, I'm gonna go down a little bit. I'm trying to get to about two amps on. Two amps. There we go, right. Okay. Nothing's happened, is it? Um, that's because all of these electronic bits, they're not actually there to put charge into the ball. What they're doing, now they're, they're making a magnetic field around here, oh, around really? these copper coils. And that magnetic field is sort of a donut shape. Okay. Oh, I got you. So the ball is kind of sitting in the hole in the dome. But I can't see the field, but we can't see it. it. But there's a magnetic field around here. That's where we're imagining it is. Right? So he wants me to believe there's an invisible donut yeah. around this thing. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's not the whole thing. It's not the whole thing. Okay. We saw those lights in the plasma ball because yes. there was a charge. Mm -hmm. So if we can get a bit of an imbalance of charge in and around this ball, yeah. my hope is that the magnetic field will keep that imbalance going so we'll get some little streamers. I don't know if I like where this is going. Well, is there is there anything on the table you think could help us build up a bit of a charm? Right here. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. So could you could you maybe build me up a bit of a charm? Put a charge on here. If we can, yeah, fingers crossed this works. And what would you like me to do with this So charge? if you think you've got a good charge on it, like to very gently, so this is your wizard's wand now, right? That's yes, right. This is really good. So very gently, I'd like you just to touch the glass ball near the top of the Near the top on the side. Yeah, just sort of on the side of the top. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh hey, hey, hey. hey! There we go. So look, we've got Sweet. Some, we've got these streamers, right? So they're quite like the streamers yeah. that we saw in the other plasma ball, but that isn't the end of this demonstration. That's it gets better. Yeah, a little bit better. So we've got that donut-shaped magnetic yeah. field, and we've now got we can see because yeah. of the gas lighting up that there's charge flowing through here. Did you notice that the these streamers are like dotted lines? Yes. So that magnetic field is oscillating back and forwards, and that's concentrating the charge in, oh, in really? along the line, so we're getting these dotted lines. But in the plasma ball, uh -huh. the charge started at the tower in the middle and came yeah, out yeah, to the yeah. edge. Here it's starting at the side of the glass ball and yeah. it's ending at the side of the glass, yes. glass ball. So if I can, because uh, it follows me, if I can get this end to come yeah. all the way around and meet the other end, what do you think will happen? You'd have a short circuit. We might, yeah, we, maybe oh, there'll be a, a circuit of some sort and short circuit sounds a bit worrying, doesn't it? Well, we might create some dark matter. But who knows? No. There's only one way to find out. Let's find out. Let's see if I can, a little adjustment on the power. Let's see if I can manage to bring one end round and meet the other end. Oh. A halo. No, but we just saw a halo. So I'll see if I can get one to hold it there for a long time because then there's another little trick I might be able to show you. I might be able to get some little streamers coming off of that halo. Would that be a plasma? There we go. That is exactly right. That is a plasma. Our, our current is flowing in this circuit and my understanding is it's held in place by that magnetic field. Uh, so it's now sort of just inside the dome. 
right? Going round and round and round and round. So we've got a, another state of matter. There's solid, liquid, and gas, right? Yeah. And plasma. And plasma. This is the first time I've ever, in my life, in all 20 years of it, I've been able to see plasma just hanging there. Yeah, just so, sitting there nicely in a little Oh my room. gosh. This is a good day. This is a real good day. It's almost terrifying. I get to stand here like an idiot and look at this thing all day. It's nice. It is. It's beautiful. You get to see plasma. Now, where else in the world are you going to get to see a ring of plasma hovering like that? Well, thank you very much, Dan. Hey, you got him, right? Thank you, got him. Well, thank you for coming to the Midnight Science Club. And we're, we're buddies with the Royal Institution. We just love these people over here, even though they eat a weird breakfast. They eat beans for breakfast. I don't understand this. Well, yeah. On toast, right? On toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beans on toast. And Dan, you're the good thing. And I'm so glad to be here. Oh, we're Thank very you. glad to have you. Yeah, yeah. So check out the RI, Royal Institution RI online, right? Absolutely, you're all over social media. All the social media, and you're there. You'll find, you'll find me floating around. In I am floating videos. around. Yep. And you know you can trust him because what has he got? Got the beard action going. Yeah, no luck. You're a good man. It's a good man. He's got more hair than I do. Now talk about halos. Wasn't that a deal? That, I'd love to have one of those things. We got to get one of those things. I'm telling you. We were there because this old wizard was asked to make a presentation on a Friday evening discourse. That's quite an honor, by the way, at the Royal Institution of Great Britain. And when we saw that halo, I thought, man, this is the closest I'll probably ever be to having a halo. Join us January 18th, YouTube channel for the Royal Institution of Great Britain. Sweet.